Chattanooga police say 14 people are being indicted for their connection to nine overdose deaths during the last two years. But today, Captain John Chambers of CPD's Narcotics Division sat down with News 12 to talk about the challenge of achieving those indictments. News 12's Chris Guin joins us live with what Captain Chambers told him about the difficulty of these cases. Chris. Thanks, Andrew. Several of the people indicted yesterday received charges of second degree murder. But as Captain John Chambers explained to me this morning, filing a murder charge in a case of an overdose presents different challenges than those involved in violent crime. Second degree murder, facilitation of second degree murder, criminally negligent homicide. These are some of the charges on which 14 people were indicted yesterday. These charges were in connection to nine overdose deaths, but as CPD Captain John Chambers explains, that can present a unique challenge to investigators. Whenever you're investigating overdose death cases, um, you're dealing with, or you, you don't have the luxury of, of having physical evidence a lot of times, um, the vast majority of times. Um, so that, that in and of itself is, is an extreme challenge um, that our investigators have met head on. According to Chambers, a typical case will come with physical evidence, which allows law enforcement to establish probable cause. In the case of a drug overdose, investigations can be long term and rely on a high degree of cooperation within the police department. They employ every piece um, of law enforcement resource that we actually have access to. Um, and just like with using the analysts that, that I mentioned earlier, um, we have done a really good job here at the Chattanooga Police Department of, of being proactive in ensuring that um, our officers have the best technology and technological resources available to them. The analyst Chambers refers to as part of the CPD's effort to stop overdose deaths before they happen, identifying individuals who have experienced multiple overdoses and intervening with services. Even if it means that we have to, to place a minor charge just to get them into the system so that we can you know, provide them services that they could not afford otherwise, but if once we're able to get them in the system, then the state can cover that for them. The CPD's attempts at stopping overdose deaths don't stop at getting people into the system. Captain Chambers told me that the police department is working with more than 20 public health entities to assist those in need. The 14 people indicted yesterday were involved in the distribution of illegal narcotics. Those suffering from addiction, Captain, Captain Chambers referred to not as repeat offenders, but rather as repeat victims. Live in the studio, Chris Guin, News 12 Now.